January 19, 2018. I'm Lai, an intern here at Topayo Bed. Today, we have four inpatient hamsters with us. Hamsters seem to be common here, as I've seen six cases in the past two weeks. Dr. Singh credits this to social media with his educational videos and blog posts for owners and veterinary students. This has placed Topayo Vets high on search listings. I searched to confirm, and look, upon searching, Hamster Chin Lump, Singapore, for example, Topayo Vets is seen thrice on the first page alone. No wonder owners send their hamsters to Topayo Vets. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Diseases in four hamsters. Let us take a look, starting from the youngest. This is a dwarf, male, 10 weeks old hamster. It's day two here. It has watery stools. Inpatient two. Caesarean so hamster, male, 6 months old. Day 5, it had pus in its eye. Inpatient 3. The dwarf, male, dwarf 1 hamster. year and 4 month old hamster. It's day 2, it has ventral dermatitis and is very itchy. Inpatient 4. Okay. This is a dwarf, male, 1 and a half year old hamster. It's day 9, and it came due to a chin tumour. The diseases and treatment of these four inpatients will be covered. Inpatient 1 with diarrhea is treated with antibiotics and fluids. Inpatient 2 with subconjunctival abscess will have the pus expressed, is given antibiotics, and may require enucleation, the removal of the eye. Inpatient 3 with ventral dermatitis is washed with antifungal, antibacterial solution, and given antibiotics. In patient 4, with the chin tumour with pus, is given antibiotics and the tumour removed. Let us hear what the vet has to say. So the first one is diarrhea. Okay, diarrhea or loose, wet loose for a few days. Now the most likely cause is that the owner had fed him those hamster treats. Some of the hamster treats are very sweet and uh, they led to diarrhea over the last few days so the owner is concerned and brought it in for treatment. Treatment consists of antibiotics and subcutaneous fluid. Uh, that was yesterday so now, now, now the stools are still a bit wet so it's not fully recovered. This, this one is very angry because you've been cleaning the eyes. You can see the eyes is really, really uh, the left eye is really badly infected. Now the right eye there may be some cure for it, but uh, whether the owner wants to continue treatment or not, it's up to the owner. The left eye may need to be removed because of the infection, bad infection of the eyeball. But uh, so we wait the owner's decision to continue surgery to remove the left eye and to continue treatment the right eye. The pass is usually from the conjunctiva, and uh, the reason is. The bedding, the bedding is a paper litter. So never use paper litter. Paper litter may have gone into the eyelids. Uh, pallet the pieces, the broken pieces out. Touch his eye, then he rub very hard. And when he rub very hard, of course, the pieces go into his eyeball. In this case, uh, and, and the puncture into it uh, centrally. Uh. So bacteria forms. Uh. And the pus forms in the eyelids, upper and lower eyelids at the side here. So this pass of course is very painful and irritating. So the hamster keeps rubbing and rubbing. And uh, this this one the treatment is to to express out the pass and to, to give antibiotics but the the hamster needs time. Needs time to treat yeah. And in theory there should be an E collar. If you put an E collar the hamster doesn't like it unlike the dogs and the cats. So the hamster will try to pull out the e-collar. This e-collar prevents rubbing of the eyes and prevent the pass from the right left eye to the right. But uh, in this case, this hamster, as you can see, is quite angry. So the e-collar was not possible. And so the left eye infection, the pass went to the right eye. Day 8. The pass in the right and left eye has cleared and swelling has gone down. Comparing this to how the eyes looked when it first came in, 
we can see that this hamster is on its way to recovery and does not require a nucleation. In patient 3. Uh, dampness causing itchiness, inflammation, and infection of the lower, lower body. Eh? You can see, so it's called ventral, ventral dermatitis because it's lower part. It's recovering much better. What we do is to, is to uh, shave a bit of the lower part here, and then we will wash, wash away all the chemicals or something causing the stain and irrigate the ears. Now this is the, 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 the one which I have to give an injection afterwards, subcutaneous. And uh, this is the representative of old hamster. How many days here? Mm -hmm. uh, old hamster with tumours. Now in, in this case, the tumour is under the chin. So it's very almost impossible to operate because the chin and the mouth and the teeth are all, all connected. Three days ago, the tongue was very uh, swollen, so there was no choice but to operate to operate to remove the tumour. Now the tumour is about this size, as you can see here. This is the tumour. And uh, the tumour is below the chin. And there was some abscess, some pus inside. After surgery yesterday, as you can see, it's, it's not really in a good shape. So we have to give uh, dexosiline to prevent dehydration. And uh, Part of the tumour has been removed, you can see the stitches here. And so this one, definitely we need to, to give subcutaneous dextrosiline and oral, oral electrolytes. I wish more information will be from the, from the, the website. Uh, I'll show here. So biovest.com and then click hamster. Hamster and, uh, and then all the cases are there. All the cases are some of the different links. There are different links here, links here, and uh, there is a conclusion. So my intern will summarize the whole thing. In conclusion, these cases are common complaints in Singapore, with infections and non-infectious complaints. Infections are seen in the eyes and skin, in inpatient 2 and 3 respectively. Tumours, such as that seen in inpatient 4, and dietary reasons seen in inpatient 1, are non-infectious. For more of such educational videos, do go to topayovets.com slash videos.htm. Thank you for watching.